Welcome to the homework for lesson four of grade two, module two. Get your name on here first so you don't forget it later. You want to get credit for all your work. And we're starting off with circling centimeter. CM is the abbreviation for centimeter or M for meter to show which unit you would use to measure the length of each object. So centimeters are small, meters are longer. <clears throat> We're going to use meters to measure longer things, centimeters for smaller things. So like the length of a marker, meter stick way too long for that. So centimeters. Anything shorter than a centimeter ruler is going to be measured in centimeters. So B, length of a school bus. Well, that's way too big for measurement in centimeters. It would take a lot of rulers, so we're going to measure that with meters. Length of a laptop computer. You want to measure that in centimeters. It might be a little more than one ruler long, but it might. It, mine isn't. Uh, length of a highlighter marker. Well, we already did a marker up here. That was centimeters. A highlighter marker is not going to be that much bigger than a regular marker. Length of a football field. Football fields usually are usually measured in yards, but that's another module. This is meters, a much more appropriate unit of measurement for a football field, anything outdoors like that. A parking lot, that's another big outdoor area. Meters, again, anything that's very much bigger than a one, the length of a ruler is, is going to be meters. Length of a cell phone, that's going to be shorter than a ruler, so centimeters. And let me scroll down here. Length of a lamp. A lamp, well, it depends on if it's a floor lamp that stands up from the floor. You might want to measure it in meters, but most lamps, if it's a lamp on a table, probably centimeters. It's probably not going to be much more than, uh, if it's a desk lamp, it's not, probably might not be the, even the height of a ruler, but it might only be just the height of two rulers. Uh, probably centimeters depending on the lamp. Uh, length of a supermarket, that's definitely got to be meters. That's a whole building. And the length of a playground, just like the football field, right? Your playground's not that size, but certainly too big to measure with just a ruler. And then now we're on to number two. Fill in the blanks with centimeter for CM for centimeter, or M for meter. The length of a swimming pool is 25 Meters would be a really tiny swimming pool if it was centimeters, like a swimming pool for ants or something. That would not even be the whole length of a ruler if it was 25 centimeters. The height of a house, that's going to be in meters. Karen, that's a person's name, is a girl probably. She's six something shorter than her sister. Well, if a house is eight meters tall, she's not going to be six meters shorter than her sister. So she's, that's going to have to be centimeters and Eric usually a boy's name ran 65 something down the street 65 centimeters is not very far to run it's like two rulers or so so you can't really run for 65 this has to be meters and the length of a pencil box that's going to be in and especially the difference between a pencil box and a pencil is only going to be centimeters. It's going to be not that much bigger. We'll go on to the next page. All right now on this page we're going to have to measure some stuff. Here's my ruler. I'm going to move this off to the side while I look at the question. It says Use the centimeter ruler, that's this thing down here, to find the length. And so if this isn't a two-sided page, then you could cut this out and use it to measure. If this is if this is scaled up to 100%. And if it isn't, it will still come out because the pictures will be shrunk the same as the ruler. But this is, we'll call this, this is a centimeter ruler. Uh, if it's only a one-sided page, then you could cut it out. If it's a two-sided page, you'll be cutting out your homework from the first side and you don't want to do that. Use Just use a regular ruler if you have one or the one you made in class. Okay, so we're measuring from one mark to the next of each object. So we're looking at object A first. 
let's get my ruler and this ruler has you might notice this ruler has a couple things on it it's got centimeters marked right here and it's got inches this side here is inches now if like, you see the other end of it it would say inches on it but you can see how much bigger inches are than centimeters they're a lot farther apart so you want to use the side that says CM on it and it has a zero line so we're gonna to have to start for this ruler we're gonna to to start at the zero and not at the end of the ruler let me go back and erase those marks that I made because they're not on the ruler anymore and you can see there's the zero and so it's only three so A is three triangle A is three centimeters long and now B is a rhombus so we're going to measure from mark to mark and we can see that's also zero right there's the first centimeter there's the second centimeter and there's the third centimeter if you're counting numbers you're going to count one two three four it's not four numbers long we're counting centimeters uh, so, so we get to count the centimeters it's three centimeters right right to there so that's rhombus B is three centimeters long and next we have to measure the semicircle and that's C your semicircle C right there and measure it right on the zero line here we go and that's one two three four Five. You can see it's right there on the five. If you start at the zero, you got five centimeters for that one. So you can see it's five. CM long. And then we're going to take a hexagon D. You can see that's one, two, if you start at the zero, it goes right to the four. That's four centimeters. Four centimeters. Let's move down a little bit. And rectangle E is the last thing we have to measure. And you can see that that's three centimeters long. Which you might have been able to guess. Since it's about the same as A. Well, E was four. Four and A was only three. Oops. About the same as D, right? Because D was four. I'm going to fix my measurement for triangle, for rectangle E. It should be four. Four. All right. Now explain the strategy to find the length of each shape. Explain how the strategy to find the length of each shape above is different from how you would find the length if you used a centimeter cube. So the difference is that how is it, how is it different? It's a lot easier to use a ruler. The ruler, you just match up the endpoints to your zero line, and you just look at the number. The mark and move is a lot more work. You never know if you're getting it exactly right with mark and move with, with a centimeter cube. And sometimes your lines aren't the same distance apart all the time, but with a ruler, you know they're going to be right on. Uh, even if you made the ruler, you've got a better chance of getting it. So let's say that... Uh, Let's just write that. Uh, 
with a ruler. It's easy to count centimeters. We'll just write cm's per centimeter. It's easy to count. It's easy to count cm's. and be precise. With a cube, you have to mark and move. It's close.